Maintaining accurate customer records in the dispensary is essential. This video will demonstrate how to select, add and edit customer profiles from the MinFOS dispense form. There are several ways to search for and select a customer. In the surname field, scan your store's own repeat barcode, scan the electronic script barcode, search for a customer by name, it is recommended that you input at least the first three letters of the surname. Enter a street number and part of a street name. Or enter a Medicare number with no spaces. When searching by Medicare number, the results will list all customers in the system with the same Medicare number. Include the IRN if you want a specific customer. In this demonstration, we will search by name. The customer's name is Bonnie Bush, so I will enter Bush into the surname field. Then press Tab. The customer search window is displayed showing the results of the search. If required, the customer search window has extended search ability. Select Find F4 to display the customer search dialog. You may select a radio button to confine your search to a particular type or simply start typing into the search box. As you type, the radio buttons will update to indicate the kind of search that is indicated by your search term. For example, 11 main is recognized as an address search. Click the OK button to start the search. In this example, all patients with the address of 11 main have been returned. If more than one customer is displayed, double click the correct customer or select the customer and then click the OK button. The dispense form is populated with the selected customer's details. In the MinFOS dispense form, you can search for a customer. If there are no results for your search, the customer entry window is displayed. Alternatively, click Add to add a new customer. Use tab to move through the fields and enter the information required. Enter the patient's preferred first names and surname. If this is the same name that appears on the customer's Medicare card, use the copy names button to duplicate the name into the Medicare names field. If the customer's preferred name differs from the Medicare name, enter the Medicare registered name into the Medicare Names field manually. Enter the customer's title and select Gender from the drop-down list provided. The gender may populate automatically for some titles that are entered. Enter the patient's street address and suburb. You can click Find to search for the suburb and this will automatically input the state and postcode. You may also choose to input these fields manually. Enter any phone numbers in the home, work or mobile phone number fields. Enter the email of the customer if known. Nominate the patient's preferred doctor using the prescriber number and enter the customer's Medicare number and expiry date. Ensure consent is set to all scripts. If applicable, Enter the concession number and expiry date, safety net number and expiry date, repat numbers, expiry date and repat type. Ensure the type is set correctly. The name of the health fund, health fund numbers and expiry dates if applicable. If the customer has a carer, select the customer carer type, then enter the carer name. If applicable, Enter the ward number and bed number. The customer account checkbox indicates whether the customer has a store account. If you have not already set up a store account for the customer, it is not recommended to tick the box at this stage. Select the copay status of the customer using the pharmacy default or opting the customer in or out. If the customer will keep their scripts on file at the pharmacy, check the scripts on file checkbox. On the upper right of the window, select the customer type from the drop-down box. Enter the customer's date of birth. The date of birth format is day, day, month, month, year, year. 
If the customer is pregnant, check the pregnant checkbox. This will need to be manually unchecked in the future. After you have completed all the appropriate fields, click the IHI search button to check for the customer's IHI number. If successful, the information will be returned and filled in the field. Click OK to save the new customer record and continue dispensing to this customer. You may choose to edit or update customer information at any time in the dispense process before finalising a script. With the desired customer selected, click the Change F3 button on the bottom left of the MinFOS dispense form and the customer editing window is displayed. In this window, you can make any changes to the saved information as required. The customer editing window layout is very similar to the customer entry window shown earlier in this video. However, if you need to add carer information, this can be updated from the carer tab along the top of the screen. After you have finished updating the information required, click OK to save and return to the dispense form.